What's up everybody? Review of the Forever Flashlight that I was talking about. I got this for Christmas. Um, only cost me about 12, 15 bucks, something like that. But what it is, it's a shake flashlight. You just shake it, it doesn't have any batteries. Um, and it's got one LED bulb inside. You might be able to see it just came on. It's really, really weak right now. I let it run down as much as I possibly could. It sat for about 15 minutes. So um, it's got a magnifying lens in the top. It's got um, a rounded uh, face with some dimples in it. Um, that's how you'll know it's the real Forever flashlight. I posted a few pictures of what it actually looks like, but this is the. Uh, 11 inch version there's a uh, 4 inch version out there that's half the size of this um, so it's com almost completely dead and not really showing any light so I'm gonna give, go ahead and give it a good shake and it takes probably about uh, I would say a good 40 seconds to get a good charge on it um, since I'm doing this starting over. I'm going to go ahead and shake it for up to 50 times. I've already gotten to uh, about 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. It just has this magnet that goes through this coil each time as you can see really bright light now um, go ahead and if while it's on you can also say shake it so if you're walking through the woods or something and it starts going dim just shake it for 10 more seconds and it'll give you a few more beams of light but I'm going to rotate this around and the light isn't probably that good in here but you can kind of see see it and it does hold the charge after it's been shaken so it's getting maybe a little it'll go for about four minutes with some good solid light um, I we had a snowstorm the other night and the lights went out for probably about two hours and this was already I gave it a couple shakes and it was ready to go because it had its first initial charge but it's a pretty bright light um, it's not the right kind of light right now because I'm in my living room but uh definitely throws out some light and it'd be something that you might want to have laying around the house in case your other batteries your other lights are your other flashlights are dead or you know just peace of mind just to let you know what it is there are a lot of knockoffs of this kind of flashlight um, if you were gonna look for a good one I would go ahead and do your research like I did and get a good one that you know is a real flashlight that doesn't take batteries I took the internal structure out of this looked around and it has a couple pieces where some black tape are but I'm not really gonna try to take those off and see if there's batteries in there but from what it says in the uh, review that I've seen it doesn't have batteries so uh, I hope that helps anybody out and if you're looking for a good flashlight put in your car emergency kit or carry in your love glove box or um, just keep around the house for any kind of uh, situations where you're going to need quick light and you don't have the batteries for your other ones so um, look that up somebody asked me to do this review so I'm going to post this on survivalist boards dot com and on ebay so uh hope this helps anybody out